many of the bases you'll find have uh, four motors in their drive train. So, wheels. Several different wheels to choose from. First has a, a wheel that comes in the kit. You'll find that a couple of the robots out in the commons area have omni wheels. And an omni wheel normal wheel, except it has a bunch of rollers all around it. So it eliminates, as you're turning, the friction where you're turning into, because you're not moving the, or you're not moving a wheels like you do with the car, so it eliminates that friction. Um, pluses and minuses. That also means it's maybe a little easier for somebody to push into you and turn your whole robot, so the friction either helps you or hurts you in certain cases. Um, they have mechanum wheels, and I'll go into those uh, in the next chart. Um, there's traction wheels or performance wheels. Pay attention to the hubs. Um, some of the hubs on them are a hex drives hub, or they're geared or they're uh, designed for a 5 8 shaft. Uh, a lot of times, you can get a secondary hub that goes in there that'll reduce it down to a half or 3 8 Andy Mark's a good source for all of those different types of wheels. They're not the only source, but I'll tell you, over the past uh, uh, three years, we've gone to Andy Mark and, and um, got some of their wheels. Okay, Mechanum wheels. I put a link here. It's a neat demonstration. Um, this is uh, uh, it's a platform that Segway's built for moving things, and so they've got a video on how mechanical wheels work. This is kind of a poor illustration for it, but you've got a center shaft, and you've got rollers that are at a 45 degree angle to it, and each wheel is driven separately. The, the power on that is that its motion allows it to crab. So it can either go forward, it can go backwards, it can go sideways, it can go at an angle. Here again, like the on, or like I was talking about on the two-speed gearbox, if you're at all thinking about mechanic wheels, buy them early, go play with them. Um, they're, they're highly maneuverable. However, they're not great for traction. You don't have good grip there. Uh, they require a separate motor and gearbox for each wheel. But if you've got a challenge where you need something that is extremely mobile, allows you to get into tight corners, move sideways out of it so you don't have to back out. Canem's a good source for it. Uh, you'll find each year I've seen um, somebody, a robot with Mechanum wheels at the uh, regional event. Okay, any other question on wheels? Pneumatics? Pneumatics, for those that aren't familiar with it, it is using air pressure in order to, to provide your motion or to provide your actuation. Each year, your kit comes with all of the fittings, the solenoid, the pump, the tubing, all of those things. Um, what it doesn't come in, come with, is the pneumatic cylinders. However, Bimba usually donates those. There's a form in your kit that says, send us your order uh, for uh, up to three cylinders and they'll ship them to you. Pay attention to the rules um, on the size of the cylinders. The rule book is very specific on what sizes you can use. We got to the kickoff event last year and somebody said, you know the cylinders you're using are illegal. On the last weekend before we shipped, we had to redesign the whole mechanism because we designed it around a cylinder that was not a legal size cylinder. Pay attention to that, it's huge. Uh, you can also buy your cylinders through McMaster Car and I assume MSC, or M yeah, MSC as well. Um, one of the demonstrations here today, there's a pneumatic supplier that is giving a presentation and uh, they may also have a, a vehicle by which you can go get cylinders. Um, pneumatics has some real application and flat power. It's not for every application. So um, take a look, see if that's how you want to do your, your particular mechanism and follow the instructions. 
Okay, miscellaneous hardware. Every team should go build or put together, assemble a miscellaneous hardware kit. Um, I'll tell you, I only use 100, 160 KSI uh, hex drive cap screws, cap uh, screws or countersunk screws. Um, it's a very high strength fastener. I never worry about uh, having them break or torque off. You can get them at um, Tacoma screw, high strength fastener, etc. They're not that expensive. You'll, they've got a black uh, matte finish. Hex drive means that it's installed using an Allen wrench. So get yourself a set the, for the sizes that you're going to want, which are most likely a number 10 or a quarter inch. That just means you got two sizes of Allen wrenches for that. Get a T-handle one with a fairly long shank. Um, pay attention to the thread types because you can either get it in a coarse thread or a fine thread. Get a whole variation on size. Standardize wherever you can. When you go into the pits to do work, you want to know that all of these fasteners are a, a 1032 or a 1028 fastener, and so you're not trying to match up your thread selection with the fastener. You know that all of them are that same thread type. Um, if you need, if you've got blind fasteners or fasteners you can't easily get to the nut to, you can use uh, swaged in nuts like a PEM nut or a rib nut in those locations. But if you're doing that, put it, do it in a position where you're not taking those screws in and out an awful lot. With PEM nuts, it's real easy to, to knock those loose. And then you've got, uh, got a difficult situation on your hands. Um, before the competition, once you get everything set and it's how you want it, I recommend you come in and put a drop of Loctite on the fasteners to minimize the risk of those backing out. You can buy the Loctite where it's a tube. You just put a drop on, tighten it down, and it locks it. You can get it like a glue stick where you run it, run your screw uh, down it. Um, there's a number of different, uh, very, there's various hold strengths. You can get it for a moderate or a high, high hold capability. If it's something that you think you're going to back out during the competition because you need to disassemble it, don't go with your high holding strength. You just need something to keep it uh, uh, so that it doesn't get loose on you. Also, on your nuts, I had it somewhere up here, um, get locking nuts. A lot of the locking nuts have a little piece of uh, plastic that's embedded in the thread on it, and it also helps prevent the back out. 